Hi, good morning. Good morning. We're off for a day out today. We do what? We're off for a day out. Off for a day out, right. Calvary National Park. Calvary, yeah. So uh, this is a place we've seen on many, many YouTube videos from people travelling Australia that we've wanted to come to for a long time. So today we're going to do the obvious touristy thing. We're going to do the Skywalk. And, and the Nature's Window. Nature's Window, yeah. We'll show you those pictures, no doubt. <laughs> Later in the video. I'll overlay some pictures as opposed to Jill trying to show you on the camera here. On the and um, mercifully, mercifully, the wind has dropped this morning. I believe it's going to pick up again and we're back to the roaring 40s this afternoon. So hopefully we'll get time to have a look around before the wind starts to try and blow us off the uh, skywalk or some such thing like that. Yeah, this is an exciting day. See you soon. Bye.
that was all wow, especially the part where you were on the edge of the cliff. It's good. I wasn't there. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been allowed to stand there. <laughs> oh, God. No. I would have been in trouble with her. Well, you are in trouble. Uh, well, we have to, I have to say that that National Park was everything that we hoped it would be. It was very, very spectacular. It was. Uh, and thankfully, we got there on one of the days where it was not roasting hot. It was hot, though. It was hot, but not roasting hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's a once-in-a-lifetime trip there to that National Park. I don't yes. know whether we'll ever be back up this way again, but uh, I'm very, very glad we did it. That's one place I would visit again. You'd come again, would you? That's the first time I said that. We found somewhere in Western Australia that Jill likes. Wow. Calbarry. It's a beautiful place. Wonderful. As you can see with and the... And have ice cream as well, yeah, we'll... raisin. <laughs> we'll go for ice cream shortly. So you can see the river in the background and then the ocean right out in the, in the distance. It really is quite a spectacular place. Perhaps we could come back when there's no... No flies, no flies and no wind. <laughs> no flies. All right, on to the next bit. See you soon. Bye. So one of the things about the mountain trail caravans is they have a grey water sump and a grey water pump, which is protected by a grey water pump filter. <laughs> so the idea behind this is that the grey water tank is mounted quite high on the chassis to prevent damage when it's doing its off-road things. And so in order to get the grey water to drain into the tank, you have to use the sump and the sump pump. That's how they're delivered from the factory as standard. So all of that's great. I have to say that when you are going through the buying process with Mountain Trail, that is never discussed. No one talks about the grey water pump and the grey water sump. And in particular, they don't talk about the fact that you need to clean the grey water filter, the grey water sump filter, every two to three months. The first we heard about that was when we were going through the handover process. And I have to say, I was a little bit shocked because it is not a simple process. You have to lie on the floor underneath the caravan. You have to unscrew four retaining screws that keep a plate that keeps the, the, the sump, the plastic sump in place. Mountain Trail have done a, a video that purports to suggest that this is an easy five minute job. Let me tell you, it's not an easy five minute job. Uh, the plate is very ill fitted. It takes forever to remove the, the screws and remove the plate. And then as you tilt the sump itself to get it off, all the water that's in there spills out. You have to be very careful about the smelly gray water spilling out onto you. And then you have to remove the filter and clean it and then you have to clean the sump tank itself and you have to clean the pump and then you have to put it all back together again while still groveling on the floor getting wet or dirty or sandy or dusty or stones in your back depending on the terrain that your caravan's parked in it's an absolute nightmare of a job and mountain trail really really need to come up with a better solution than this it's uh, it's okay suggesting that it's an easy thing to do and that might be the case when you're in your 30s and your 40s you're a little bit more agile but when you're in your late 60s and you're traveling with these top of the range luxury caravans this is a terrible terrible inconvenience so mountain trail if you are listening come up with a better solution because this simply isn't good enough let me show you just how much of a struggle it is so this is what we're having to resort to now hammer to release the bracket that holds the sump, which is different on my caravan to Collins. Even though the caravans were only made three months apart and are supposedly the same, it's different. So they've installed the bracket on mine, fixed to the chassis rails, and it's bloody difficult to get off. So this is it, this is the actual filter. Uh, I've cleaned it now. Um, wasn't too bad, but it was pretty gunked up down towards the bottom, which would reduce the water flow, which would cause the pump to be activating more often than it should be. But anyhow, this is it now cleaned, put it back into place. Okay, so we now have the, we now have the metal retaining plate fastened back in here. And the pump is now back in place and, and the filter has been cleaned and the pump has been cleaned. 
This is a ridiculous requirement for those of us who own this caravan and are not sprightly in our 40s. It's taken me about an hour to do this and I think the problem is this retaining plate is too tight against the chassis rails. And on Collins, he doesn't have a retaining plate like this, he has a bracket which is much easier to remove. So why or why have Mountain Trail fitted one one way and one another? That's one of the mysteries of owning a mountain trail. Right, cheers. 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 <laughs> Afternoon tea. So this is uh, Geraldton. We've been here now for six nights, five nights, six five nights. nights, five nights, five nights. Uh, it's been beautiful and sunny and windy every single day. <laughs> um, but yeah, Geraldton's a great, a great place. We've just come for a, an afternoon break and this is one of the advantages of having something like this. You can just take it anywhere. This is, what's it called, Colin? Sun, Sunset Beach? Sunset, Sunset Beach. Beach, right. So this is well, Sunset Beach. This is Beach. called Bluetti. This is Sunset Beach, and so <laughs> the idea is that we will uh, just come anywhere with this power station, and our kettle, and our milk, and make a drink of tea. So, Geraldton, we leave tomorrow morning, and we're heading off to Donga. What do you think of Geraldton, Bridget? Yeah, I really like it here. It's good. Very nice. Would you come back? Yeah. I would. I'd definitely come back. It's a lovely place, yeah. So what do you think, Jill? Yeah, it's one of the nicest places we've been so far. That's, that's a pretty good recommendation from Jill. I know she didn't seem very <laughs> enthusiastic there, but that is, in fact, Jill being enthusiastic. In fact, you should watch that again on replay because you don't see that very often. Anyhow, right, so yeah. Uh, cheers to Geraldton. Geraldton. Cheers to the afternoon tea. Cheers to Bluetti for helping us uh, do this anywhere we happen to park the car. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, like and subscribe. And please, most important, comment. <laughs>